at Kelburn Farm this year, this has been our, I think our fourth year straight cutting canola. Um, we've tried different varieties and tried different treatments. And I, I can't say anything surprised me other than stressing the importance to use some sort of harvest management or harvest aid to help dry down the crop. It just makes harvest that much easier. Um, just allow the crop to get through the combine a little easier. Um, it, it, we had a pretty heavy canopy this year. That's you know, some of the things I noticed, that, but you had a, quite a different season, did you, Orland? Well, at, at the Bennett farm this year, we were the dry season since 1885. So I found in past years, the harvest aid does help uh, with harvest speed and ripening. But honestly, with that dry conditions, it didn't matter if I put a harvest aid on or not, they all kind of seemed to ripen at the same time and that was just basically due for running out of moisture. So right. I didn't have a, a surprise there at all either. Uh, at the Bennett farm this year, we were super dry through the whole season. So seasonal rainfall, April to the end of August was 70 millimeters. So like unbelievably dry, the surprising thing I found are cereals, so wheat, durum, oats actually fared quite well. Averages of 95 bushels for oats and wheat in that 45 to 50 with good protein, so that was quite surprising. The dry weather really affected pulses and soybeans, um, like almost single digit yields, which is quite disappointing for, for a farmer. At Kelburn this year, we were drier than normal but we, we had good subsoil moisture, which helped carry us through the year. We had one rain in June, which was our, probably our most substantial rainfall all year. I think it was about 35 millimeters. Um, that seemed to carry our crops through, such as uh, our, our cereal crops and canola did very well. Um, but as it got hotter and drier, our crops like soybeans really struggled. They need that inch of rain or, or more than an inch of rain that first part of August, which we didn't get. So our soybean yields were lower than, than average, but uh, when you look back at our cereal crops and our, uh, and our canola, um, yields were, were very surprising with our spring wheat crops in the high 80s in the 90 bushel range with, with very good protein. And our oat yield, um, oat yield from, from the plots were, were up in that 175 to 180 bushel range. So unbelievable cereal crop yields and even our canola for the amount of moisture we had to be in the you know, close to the 60 bushel range for some of our canola was, was exceptional. It was not what, we, not what we imagined for the year. Some of my suggestions for growers who are into straight cut canola for the first time is, is to pick a variety that, that uh, may be suitable for your area. Um, there are pod shatter canola hybrids out there that have the actual trait in them, which for a first time grower, I think it's just great insurance. Um, it allows the comfort level to be a little bit higher, I think, when you're straight cutting. Um, it allows you to feel that your canola should be safe out in the field a little bit longer when you're leaving it for a straight cut. Um, but other than that, just you never know the year and, and allowing the, the variety or the, the hybrid to mature on its own can delay that harvest quite long. And I think just using a harvest aid product just helps to determine your harvest time a little better. Um, helps you get set up for the next year as well. So it just makes harvest easier is the way I look at it, especially for first time growers so you get comfortable with that system. So that's my opinion on it. Orland probably finds maybe some different ideas according to the weather, but. Well, I think in Southern Saskatchewan and in the Bennett Farm area, um, I'd agree with selecting a pod shatter uh, trait product first for a new time grower. Things I've found that harvest aid does speed up the actual timing to get into the field to harvest those straight cut products. Um, I'd kind of lean towards maybe a combination of uh, uh, a swath product and a straight cut mm -hmm. product together to kind of spread your, your risk out over, right. over the season. But one thing I found in an instance where it, it was a pod integrity type product, I had a hail event last season and it really affected my yield where the other products which had that pod shatter trait in it didn't get affected. So those were some of my findings mm -hmm. over the last couple of years.